Hey guys, welcome back to another Fade Guide video. Today we are going to be doing Split, and I will be showing all my favorite Fade Eyes, uh, Sucks, and basically just how I play the map. So first, we're going to be starting on the attacking A side here. One of my favorite eyes to throw for the A side is I like to just throw it right over the top here onto this there. like crown like this. Where are you? Just lands like right on top of here, right next to here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I either try to land it like here, so it just only gets there. rafters, or I can land it more like on top of here where it gets a little bit more of sight. So it kind of just depends where I want to throw it. But if I want to scan a little bit more closer, I kind of ping there. on the map here. And I aim just a little bit to the right of it and then just throw it like this. Where are you? I try and get my eye right up here so I can scan anyone like there. close hell that's like hiding here with the judge because that happens a lot. Or if the enemies are in this corner, if they peek out a little bit, they will also get there. scanned by this. A good eye for like uh, taking ramp if you want to use your dog is there's two of them you can do. One you can do from spawn, so this might be if you're like faking or or if you wanna like go to mid or something. You throw it right over the top here of this wall like this. And it's going to scan anyone ramp at the start of the round. Or if you don't wanna go to spawn, you can just do this at the start of the round and then just run, jump, Find and go you. like this. And we'll also scan ramp for a team that have ramp. Another good eye also for just taking set in general is just, just throwing it right in the back here. I don't like there. to do anything too crazy for my eyes on this map just because it's just kind of hard to like get a good positioning for your eyes on top because they're so in the open that they get so easily broken so i kind of like to actually throw on like either back sight where they're a little bit more hidden even though i don't get as much scans i do like uh get more like precise information so like i'll throw them back here or something so it's like behind screen a little bit so get anyone like back here who's like a cypher or a killjoy playing for the utility from more of trying to hit the site, I saw my eye. I'll try and throw my eye all the way into elbow because a lot of people like to play here and then swing off like a flash there. from their teammate or something. So it's a good way to throw like uh, an eye here to get that info. Uh, if anyone's like trying to swing. So um, once I have ramp, there's not anything too crazy I like to do with my eyes or anything here. I usually like suck either here because some people like to hide behind here like this or here with like a judge or something. So I either throw like a suck here or I just dog it. And I also like to throw a suck here if this is smoke or viper wall because people like to hide here with like shotguns or they just like to play with stingers or they just get ready to like just surprise you with like a flash and it's a good way to know if they're there. And if they do get sucked, you can either end up staying with like an Odin or, or whatever you're using through the wall here. I'd say once uh, you have a sight though, if you're like from the uh, attacking side, once bomb is down, another good place to throw your eye is like there. up here. This place right up here. Uh, this pairs really well if you have like a sight, like a sight smoke here with your game. Just throw your eye like right up there, and any enemies that are coming at Raptors main yeah. or uh, screens here will get scanned by it. So that I think is about all I have for about the A side for attacking. There isn't anything too crazy for the eyes because there isn't much to do. Let's go to the mid side now for attacking. So usually what I like to do is I start market and then I just dog into the open like this. Nice, stay in the right, the dog, just to make sure no one's hiding in that corner. And then once I get up in the mid, I usually like to throw a suck into vents when this is smoked. There. So I'll try and throw the suck like right here. Just so like the edge of like the suck is like right at the edge of the there. smoke so no enemies can run out when they get sucked. Because if you throw your suck too deep like this, see how there. much uh, area they can get by still getting the smoke. So you want to throw your suck as deep as you can. So the enemies cannot run out. But you still want to make sure it covers Elizabeth everything. It's so like that would be a good suck right there. But let's say if you don't want to use your dog, this is a good eye, like you. up here. It will scan anyone like there. peeking here and also there. kind of just in the open in general. They will not get scanned though if they are hiding like here though, because this uh little like rafter thing blocks it. If you just don't want to use your dog in general, you can just do like a jump spot for like you. this. Or if you're uh, if you're starting sewer, you can just go like this. You? you can also just throw it right on the top as well. If you know there's anyone pushed down mid, I don't like to do this too much because it usually never works out. Now once you like have mid, like when you're up here, usually another dog is pretty good here to clear all these like really close angles. That is the one thing that actually is good about fade on this map is the dog clears so many angles for like judges and such as long as you take your time and it's slow with it and if you can have like a sky flash or, or any flash in general then you can easily push up into these uh like really tight corners bring them down 
So I want to get up here with like your dogs. You still have your eye or if you just got it back. A good eye for going up heaven is it's pretty simple. You just throw rafters. You just throw like rafters there, or you can throw like deep rafters. I messed it up, but you can throw like deep. So it scans a bit of rafters if they're here. Or if um, you don't have a smoke, you can just throw your eye like this. So they can't run out on you. Here's another good eye for taking the B site uh, as fade when you're coming out of B heaven. So you just want to throw it right up there on this ledge like this. I'll find you. It's gonna land right on top of here. It's gonna scan any one pillar, a little bit of there. back sight, unless they are tucked. But if they aren't, it will also scan them back here. And uh, anyone that's also in the open here will also get scanned by it. And a little bit of under wrappers as well. Like... You want to be trying to do that as much as you can when you're taking the B site because it clears so much. And also while you're going out, if you have your suck or anything, yeah, suck the hell is usually good because uh, especially in, like eco rounds, people like to play here with like shorties and stuff. So that's a, that's a pretty good suck to throw. To finish off for the attacking side by going B, I either dog here Bring them down. off the rip or I suck. Sucking off the rip is actually really good because um, any offers that like to peek there. here or anyone that just likes to go for those like ego swings at the uh, the start of the round, you get an easy free kill if they get there. sucked here. Because unless they have a TP ability, they can't leave. So then, um, once you get up into main here, what you can do is you can still use your dogs to the left and the right, like this. Or what I like to do is I like to try and throw my eye a little bit back sight. So it's only going to scan back sight, only here, nothing else. And if it doesn't get broken, that means that there's no one back sight here, so that means you don't have to even worry about this side when you're scaling out. Another way you can clear this without having to use your eyes, you can throw a suck like this. So that clears all the back sight there. And if that doesn't, it, it, you'll know when someone gets sucked because there. there'll be a little ball in the middle. A good eye for actually taking the sight is you can still just throw Where the eye up here like this. Pretty simple. The same eye, just from B main. There gonna be clearing obviously like there. anyone that's default here or a little bit of backsight if you want to change it up you can throw it rafters like Where this it's gonna probably get broken but if there's anyone like opting up here who's too focused on holding the, like the angle or like here that's trying to hold the angle it's a good scan for your teammates to know that they're out a good eye you can throw actually for when the enemy's like coming out of heaven and hell and such is if this is smoked off if you can have your teammate smoke this off and then have your eye thrown up here like this. It's gonna land right on top of here. Anyone that's coming at rafters, hell. Or if they go wide spawn here, we'll get scanned and then you can spam them through a smoke if it was here. All right, so let's start on the defending side now for A. I usually like to start on the A side most of the time. Either I start A side or I start in vents. It just depends where I really uh, wanna start or how I'm feeling throughout the game. But what I usually like to do is either dog A main off the rip like this. Just get a little bit of info, and then I either leave to vents or leave to B, depending on what the uh, info I've gotten throughout the first couple of seconds are. Or I throw one of these two eyes. So I either just ping there. the very edge of the map like that, and I just throw my eye like this. Find you. Very, very simple eye. Nothing too crazy. Scans everything in main there. here, here, there. anything like sewers. The only place they can be hiding from it is if they start deep into sewers. Or by behind these like walls here, there. and they're like hiding from it on purpose. And another eye I like to throw is right on top of this billboard right here, like this. I'll find you. This is usually good to like scan if the enemies have been rushing there. A a lot, or if they've just been like walking up A. It's just good to get that early info on without having to, like it like land on the ground. So either one of those eyes are good, but I usually like to use the second one more just because it catches enemies off guard. But if the enemies haven't been hitting A a lot, I usually like to use the first one more because it scans more info. But for the enemies are like coming out A, two or three of these eyes right here are like pretty good. So the one I already showed there. you before, like this one, I'll find you. really good for when the enemies are coming out. Any enemies that are like hell or there. running out here in the open will get scanned by that. This one's like kind of bad, but it's actually works sometimes is you can throw a suck like here, like kind of in the open. And you throw your eye really deep, like deep into sight. And they'll be so focused on rafters there. that they'll either be focused on rafters to like break the eye or they end up breaking the eye, but then you can swing out rafters while they're sucked. I don't like to play ramp too much because it's kind of awkward, but when I do, I like to just kind of dog down. here like I did before. And then I can like throw a suck like this and I try and go like main here and then spam through the smoke or something like this. Easy way to get like free kills there. 
Let's go to the uh, mid side of the map now for defense. So what I usually like to do on mid is if I have a raise, I usually like to suck market. We'll catch them. I'll throw it like there. I'm not obviously running that deep down mid, but you get what I'm trying to say. Or I like to suck Take hold. close when the enemies are like sky there. dogging here because you like the sky dog. If this is smoked. This is there. another good suck. I like to use this one a lot because when this is smoked off and then you're smoked there. off and there's only this like little gap here of like no smoke area, I throw the suck right in the middle and then I just start like spamming through the smoke like this for free kills because they'll be sucked. They can't hear. They can't run away. And the only thing they can do is they have to push you or run away after they've gotten out of the suck. A good eye for mid with the uh, fade eye. Because right at the top of these like wooden scaffolding area. Scans like there. a bit of this market area there. here and a bit of sewers if they're like out in the open like this. And then you can spam through the wall. If you do get pushed back here, heaven, another good suck. Take hold. Just like this. Enemies can't really run away if you get to, like the suck to land here. So if you have your enemy or your teammate raise for like an yeah. eight here right in the middle, basically just a bunch of free kills for your team. But if you really do get pushed back, throwing like an eye into like a suck like this can delay. And you can either push out with like a flash or something from your team uh, to try and like scale out and take back the space. What I usually like to do instead of trying to play there. stairs is I try to get into like this hell area so I can like prepare for the there. drop because people like to swing and they get like caught out here because they're too focused on trying to fight stairs. There. In like sight and they kind of forget about hell so i just kind of sit here and either play for my odin spam or i sit here like if i suck and try and see him through the wall like this something like that another good eye for when the enemies are coming out b so like the enemies are actually rushing b a great eye is i just throw it right up here like this just right on top of this like green ledge doesn't have to be perfect the way i threw it so anywhere just like up here is pretty good uh, we'll scan anything pillar, back site. We'll not scan anyone here though, obviously, if they're like tucked behind the wall. But this kind of puts them in a bad position because they're just really in the open here. I usually don't play B as fake because it's more of like either for like a sentinel or a smoke character. I kind of like to play the more mid area, but like that is definitely a great eye though for retaking. If you only want to scan this area from when they're coming out, I'll find you. Just throw your eye right on top of here. Right on top of here. Any enemies that are like running out here. Let's say there's like a viper wall because some people like to throw a viper there. wall for the cross. You throw your eye there. right up there. It won't even be their line of sight, uh, line of sight when they're like uh, running in and stuff. So they won't even know the eye is up there. And you can spam through the, 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 like, the viper wall if it was here. And uh, when the enemies are actually like planning, I like to throw a suck a tear. With like a raise nade and such. Oh. And then I usually scale out with like my fade eye depending on where I threw it either there, there or there. But um, I think that is about all for how I pretty much play split on Fade. If there's any eyes that you do that I didn't show in this uh, guide, please let me know down in the comments. And please leave a like and a subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. All of your support means the absolute world to me. And I appreciate every single one of you. So uh, have a nice day or night wherever you're at. And um, good luck uh, ranking up. Bye-bye.